This is just a quick video to show you some mods that we've made to our uh, Travato. It's a 2016-59G that we've had for about a month and a half now. Initially we just put a couple decals on it uh, that was cheap and easy for my wife's business. Um, we then added a Santa tube under the back between the back bumper and the black tank and we just zip tied that on there with some industrial strength zip ties. And the reason we did that is because we got a longer, more robust uh, sewer hose than the one that came with the vehicle. This one has a couple uh, angled uh, attachments on the two ends. This one goes into the dump station. The other is a 45 degree clear attachment that attached to the rig so you can see what's coming out. Um, there's a bracket that attaches to that red one and we put that, this was the location where the original uh, sewer hose was stored and it fits in there nicely. We added a cell phone signal booster and I put the magnetic antenna kind of on the back here and just running that cord in through the door. I'm going to drill a hole in this cabinet and run it through there. The under, other end of the cabinet where we have the cell phone signal booster, we put a 12 volt outlet in for that. And then there's a second antenna with this that rebroadcasts the signal and that's at the front of the rig here. And so I'm going to drill a couple holes and run that behind a cabinet and then behind the microwave and back to where the signal booster is. And you can see up there, uh, we'll, this is, you'll see the signal booster back here again, but you can see up front we actually took out the TV. Um, we don't watch TV much so we don't need it. We had the antenna taken off the roof and we're going to use that space hopefully for storage. It still needs some, some uh, finish work obviously uh, and the, the cables are just pushed in the hole for now. Um, on the roof, we're going to put a solar panel so that we have a second solar panel. Hopefully we'll have 200 watts and we'll use that power for our computers and other things. So we actually have put a 12 volt outlet underneath the dinette, which you'll see here in a second. We've plugged a little inverter into that and we can use that to power our computers and we can move it around to different locations rather than permanently mount it. Um, in addition, you'll see from an expensive inverter, we got a couple cheap cup holders that clip onto the table. Uh, we thought about drilling into the table and putting those, but decided to think this was easier. We didn't like the screens that came with the front windshield. They're bulky and difficult to store and difficult to put out. So we got this this for 50 bucks, and it Velcros in the middle, and it works really well. Um, it's not a blackout, but we weren't worried about that. And it stays out of the way so that um, we don't have to store it, and uh, it doesn't block your vision too much. Um, for sleeping, we travel with our chi our son, our child, and uh, we wanted to keep the dinette clear so that if he wanted to go to sleep early or we wanted to go to sleep early, the other party could be at the dinette doing whatever they do. So we've made a little cubby underneath it here with an REI camp pad. I put a couple hooks on the bottom of the uh, Murphy bed. It hangs up. We can put it down there. He can crawl underneath there. He's got a little light here so that he can turn that on and off when he's underneath there. And uh, we think that worked out real well in the times we've used it so far. Um, for our sleeping purposes, we actually have this nice, uh, it's like a, it's a quilt. It's a down quilt for backpacking and it's super light, but it has a foot box so it slips underneath the pad. In addition, I've got a couple of fleece sleeping bags that were really cheap in case my wife gets cold and they roll up and fit right in here, which is nice. Finally, the buckle that holds up that Murphy bed, um, first couple nights it hit my wife in the head and we figured out that you could just roll it up here and stick it up inside of itself and it gets it out of the way and you don't have to put Velcro on it or anything. So that's what we've got going so far. Um, this is my wife's Welsh Dragon which sits in the front of our rig which she's calling Barth and I'll let you know how things go as we make more uses of it. That's my story and I'm sticking to it.